Today I'll talk about a relation between recoil angle in laboratory frame of reference and scattering angle in central mass frame. So that means, uh, as I discussed earlier, that uh, theta is the sorry phi is the recoil angle. in, uh, sorry, not phi, but uh, in left frame, a recoil angle is phi, yeah, phi is the recoil angle in left frame and scattering angle is uh, <coughs> pi minus alpha is the scattering angle in center of mass frame. Sorry, scattering angle is uh, alpha. Sorry, I have forgotten that. Yeah, alpha is the scattering angle in center of mass frame. Other and whereas in earlier lecture I talked about the relationship between theta and alpha, right? But here my objective is to find out the relationship between phi and alpha, right? So let me recall uh, the earlier diagram now again. The situation is like this. This is the situation. This is V1 and it is V2. And the situation is like this. It is V1 prime and it is V2 prime. And here, if this angle is alpha, and this angle is pi minus alpha, and this is theta, and this is phi. Now, I, I want to find out the relationship between the, this alpha and this phi. So, if I try to look at this part, then V2 is like this, and this is V vector. Right. and this is v2 prime vector and this vector is v2 prime so if we resolve their components its one component is along this direction and it, its another one component is along this direction and another is along this direction and this angle is pi minus alpha So that means magnitude wise, if I try to look at this, then this distance is uh, V2 cos phi because this angle is phi. This angle is phi. That means this distance is V2 cos phi. And similarly, this distance is basically it is B2 prime, this whole angle is, uh, so it is B2 prime, with negative sign cos of alpha, because this angle is pi minus alpha, so that means this angle is alpha, so that means, but it is in the opposite direction, it is along this direction, so it is negative sign, right, that's what, and this whole distance is uh, V, so for the motion along x-axis, I can write down that V2 cos phi is equal to V plus V2 prime. Either I can write down V minus V2 cos alpha or I can write down V2 prime cos of 180 minus alpha and cos of 180 minus alpha is simply minus cos alpha. So it is V minus 
V2 prime cos of alpha, and let me call this as equation number one. And similarly, the magnitude of this component is equal, whether I will take 180 minus alpha or I will take uh, one, uh, this alpha, so because magnitude wise they are equal. Similarly, for motion along y axis, I can write down V2 sine of phi must be equal to V2 prime sine 180 minus alpha. And this is in the second quadrant, 180 minus alpha. So that means I can write down this as that V2 sine of phi is equal to V2 prime sine of alpha. This is the equation number two, which we are getting. Now, two by one gives me as we proceed in the earlier uh, lecture also, in the similar fashion, so it is V2 sine phi upon V2 cos phi. is equal to V2 prime sine alpha over V minus V2 prime cos of alpha and uh, this will cancel out with it. So tangent phi is equal to, this is V2 and it is sine of alpha divided by V2 can be taken outside V2 prime. So it is V over V2 prime minus cos of alpha and this will cancel out with it. So it's prime, this again, right? So that means this tangent alpha comes out to be sine alpha over V over V2 prime minus cos of alpha. That's what I'm getting for this. Let me call this as equation number three. Now, let me recall the values of V and V2. As you know that magnitude of V is equal to M1 U1 over M1 plus M2 and similarly magnitude of V2 prime, sorry V2 prime is also equal to the same M1 U1 over M1 plus M2. You can go to the earlier lectures for this, right? So that means if I put their values, that is V over V2 prime if one to calculate it, then it comes out to be M1 U1 over M1 plus M2 whole divided by M1 U1 M1 plus M2 and they will cancel out because both are equal. So its value will be one. So therefore, if I put its value in the equation number three, then the relation which I'm getting that not tangent, uh, let me do one thing. Oh, sorry. It's not tangent alpha, but it is tangent phi. So it is tangent phi, right? So it means this tangent phi comes out to be sine alpha over one minus cos of alpha. That's what I'm getting. From here, this is the relationship between the two. And let let us do little more algebra to make it more precise. So tangent phi is equal to it is two sine alpha y two cos alpha by two. This is simple relationship from trigonometry, and this is one minus one minus two sine square alpha by two. And uh, if I open it up, then it is two sine alpha by two cos of alpha by two whole divided by one minus one plus two sine square alpha by two. And this one will cancel with this. So the relationship which I'm getting is equal to, it is two sine alpha by two cos alpha by two whole divided by two sine square alpha by two. Now, this will cancel out with it and this two will cancel out with it. So it is cos alpha by two over. That means 
this tangent phi is equal to cos of alpha by 2 over sin of alpha by 2 which means cot of alpha by 2 and let me try to convert it to 10 so it is 10 pi by 2 minus alpha by 2 right pi by 2 minus alpha by 2 so that means this phi is equal to pi by 2 minus alpha by 2 thus I can say that this phi is equal to pi by 2 minus alpha by 2 and this is the relationship and if I multiply both sides by 2 then it is 2 phi is equal to pi minus alpha uh, so this is the relationship between a recoil angle in laboratory frame it is the recoil angle in laboratory frame and this alpha is the scattering angle in laboratory in center of mass frame but if I try to look at this part let me do one thing that it is 2 phi is equal to pi minus alpha then what is this this pi minus alpha is also known as it is the recoil angle in center of mass frame so recoil angle in center of mass frame is nothing but is equal to twice of recoil angle in in laboratory frame so this is one thing which I am getting out of it and another relationship which I am getting it is a this relationship right so let us do uh, or let us take a, a special case of this also both particles are of equal mass that is theta is equal to alpha by 2 as we have uh, learnt this in earlier lecture then 2 phi can be written as pi minus alpha and this is equal to pi minus twice of theta because alpha comes out to be 2 theta from here right so that means this uh, if we dividing both 2 phi plus 2 alpha is equal to pi and dividing by 2 then phi plus alpha sorry not alpha uh, it is 2 theta sorry it is 2 theta so it is 2 theta from here alpha is equal to 2 theta so it is 2 theta so alpha plus 2 theta or I can say that alpha plus theta is equal to pi by 2 thus during elastic collision collision of two particles of equal mass the direction of scattered and A recoil target particle are at right angle is perpendicular to each other in lap frame 
right so that's all we are getting out of it so thanks for watching this lecture